Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Not even in the studio today. Just wanted to get this one out quick because this game starts, all right, I think at 2 p.m. Eastern time. This is not a VIP pick. I haven't even talked to Toast. But let me tell you what I'm going to be betting in this Tigers game. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The Source. Hey, get the Suez. So Tigers Twins doubleheader in Detroit. We never put doubleheaders on the VIP ticket. This one's not going on either. Personally, I like this first game though. So check this out. The Tigers are actually ahead of the Twins in the standings right now. I mean, essentially they're tied actually, but the Tigers are ahead in the win column. There's this general consensus or an idea out here that the Twins are a far superior team to the Tigers, and that's just not true. Not this year. So let's talk starting pitching. In just a seven-inning game, starting pitchers carry even more weight than they normally do. And a lot of you are going to look right at Jose Arena, point at the stats, and fade the Tigers off the jump. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have Jose Arena um, on auto fade and have had him on there all year. A lot of people will forget that Jose Arena started this season off hot. Before his forearm injury, uh, towards the end of May, I think it was like May 26th, when he injured his forearm, before that happened, he was pitching really well. This is a seven-year MLB veteran here. This dude knows how to get outs. Yeah, he was pitching horribly, but if you look before the break, if you read some of the reports from before the break, no, he wasn't pitching well, but his velocity was getting back up there. He was hitting 95 miles an hour and above on the radar gun. Now, there's no way in hell that I'm going to sit here and tell you Jose Arena is going to be great for the second half of the season. But I do think he's going to pitch better. I think he's going to win some baseball games. Oh, yeah. And who's he pitching against? Who's pitching for Minnesota today? Some kid named Charlie Barnes. First ever MLB star. This is actually the third pitcher this year that min that is making their MLB debut first ever start for the twins this year so they're trying out all new kinds of arms we got a brand new kid never started a game before oh yeah and he's a lefty why is that significant because the tigers are smashing left-handed pitching in the last 30 days they are fourth in the mlb in hitting lefties as far as ops goes so you got the detroit tigers smashing lefties at home against a brand new rookie starter lefty at plus 100 yeah, I'll take the Tigers. Again, this is not a VIP pick. I haven't even talked to Toast. It's still, what, 5 a.m. in Alaska, so he's not awake yet. But personally, in this early game, I am betting Tigers first five money line plus 100. First five over three and a half, because I think those Tiger bats are going to get right back to work. And I'm also going to bet the full game over. You can get it at seven. Um, I'm get looking at it. It looks like most books have it at seven and a half at around minus 104. Probably will end up betting the Tigers on the full game also, but I mean, it's a seven inning game. How different is a first five bet than the full game? So I like the Tigers. I'm betting them. Not a VIP play, but I like it. VIP sheets probably going out around 3.30, 4 p.m., same as always. I might hop in the studio a little later uh, today and, and put out another video. Finally, baseball is back. Let's make some money today. I'm excited to get back to work.